Hello, my name is Sean Copeland, Chairman and CEO of Regent Bank, and welcome to another edition of Regent Elevate. Today, we're going to continue our series on managing our mindset. And we've talked about several strategies, getting up in the morning and anchoring to our mind around something positive, uh, having an abundance mentality where we, we believe there is enough and we focus on helping each other instead of a mindset of scarcity, keeping a worry journal of all the things that are bothering us and learning that the results are always much better than what we predict uh, that they would be, and taking one day at a time where we don't project the future problems to today, we simply get organized, prepared, put in our best day that we can, and then leave uh, the rest in the future and just focusing on one day at a time. Today I want to share a concept called Two Hour Living with you, and this really comes from a book uh, that I read long ago which talked about the fact that as humans we are made to sprint and not uh, for a marathon. We were designed to be hunters or gatherers. We went out, got the food, came back, rested, ate. Went out, got the food, came back. We didn't work 24-7. And, and the way that this relates to mindset is, I think a lot of times we try to take on too much. So I wanna share with you this concept of two hour living. What I learned several years ago was that if I would break my day down into two hour increments, I could stay much more refreshed and I could also have a much better mindset. So, so what I will do is the day uh, will start and I'll get to mid-morning, so I'll work for two hours, let's just say from eight o'clock until 10 o'clock. And then at 10 o'clock, I stop. I typically spend some time in prayer. I'm um, typically thanking God for the last couple of hours and asking for wisdom and focus for the next couple of hours. I'll have a little snack, I'll have a drink, and I'll just take about a 10 minute, maybe 15 minute uh, break. And you let your mind rest and let your mind rest. And then you come back and you do it for two more hours. <clears throat> then it's time for lunch. I do the same thing either going to or from lunch. Then I do it again in the afternoon, have a mid-afternoon break, and then it's the end of the day. And the result of this is you have much more energy. By the time you get to the end of the day, many of us hit it so hard all day that by the time we get to the end, we are exhausted. So our family gets nothing from us when we get home. We're too tired, we're spent, we don't want to engage. And that's not good. We have, we have many roles. Work is not our only role, father, husband, uh, brother, sister, etc., are also uh, very, very important roles. So what we need to do is, I think by practicing uh, two-hour living, it helps us to uh, not only be more conscious of our decisions, you know, be more focused in what we are doing, but it gives us a lot more energy by the time we get to the end of the day. So I hope you enjoy this concept of two-hour living. Next time we're gonna talk about the importance of taking care of ourselves and how that can change our mindset uh, going forward. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.